Well, hey guys, I'm a board certified dermatologist. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the skin benefits of melatonin. What the heck is melatonin? It is a hormone that controls our circadian rhythm, our sleep wake cycle, our day night cycle, and seasonal biorhythms. There's a good chance you've heard of melatonin because it is really popular in a variety of over-the-counter sleep aids, melatonin gummies and supplements to help you fall asleep. And these can also be utilized by people who work swing shifts and have disruptions in their sleep-wake cycle, or if you've been experiencing jet lag after a recent travel, it can kind of help you get back on track. What else does it do? It's really vital for executing immune responses to infectious organisms. It's important for fighting off cancer. It has anti-tumor effects. It helps modulate our weight and it's important in our reproduction. Melatonin is an antioxidant and for this reason it is attractive for its anti-aging potential. Melatonin is present in a really high concentration in a variety of tissues throughout the body like bile, ovaries, lymphocytes which are a type of cell in the immune system and it's present at high concentrations in the skin. Within our skin, there's something called MAS, M-A-S, melatonergic antioxidant system. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that melatonin is an antioxidant. What is an antioxidant? Well, antioxidants are present in our skin to help fight off oxidative stress. When we go out in the world, we're exposed to a lot of stressors, ultraviolet radiation first and foremost, as well as visible light and pollution. And these things lead to the formation of oxygen-free radicals that damage the fats in our skin, the collagen in our skin, and the DNA in our skin cells. But our skin is equipped with something called antioxidants that can help sort of mop up these things before they go damaging our skin. Melatonin by itself directly scavenges free radicals and reduces oxidative stress. Its chemical structure actually allows it to handle a variety of different forms of free radicals. But melatonin also indirectly fights off free radicals by increasing increasing the levels of antioxidative en enzymes in the skin. Things like uh, superoxide dismutase, as well as catalase. So these enzymes get a boost from melatonin and then they go on to fight off free radicals. Importantly, melatonin is shown to result in a boosting of these enzymes that is sustained for a period of about 24 hours. Now, because of its broad range of antioxidant and radical scavenging abilities, melatonin is key in fighting off oxidative stress from UV damage. In fact, clinical studies demonstrate a reduction in skin damage upon exposure to UV when melatonin has been applied topically prior to UV exposure. When you go out and your skin is exposed to the sun or you sit by a window and the UVA rays come in through window glass, as soon as it hits your skin, those free radicals are generated immediately. So you need to have the antioxidants on board prior to exposure. Upon exposure, the antioxidants that are naturally present in our skin, they decline. So putting an antioxidant topically before being exposed to UV is one way to help minimize the overall burden of damage from exposure to UV, as well as a variety of other environmental stressors. As a side note, this is one of the reasons why smoking tobacco and drinking alcohol in excess lead to more visible and more prominent and more early onset signs of photoaging because tobacco smoking, as well as drinking alcohol in excess, they drain your skin of its antioxidant systems. It puts tremendous burden on those. So there's really not much left to deal with the damage from ultraviolet radiation, pollution, visible light, and other environmental stressors. This is why people who smoke have lower skin levels of vitamin C which is another antioxidant. Over the years, I've covered a lot of different antioxidants in skincare products. So what makes melatonin an attractive option? Well, it offers a variety of benefits over some other antioxidants on the market, specifically vitamin C. That is the one, vitamin C is an antioxidant that everybody and their mother is always craving, lusting after, it is coveted. But I think people often ignore some other antioxidants that may potentially offer some benefits over vitamin C. And in the case of melatonin, there are a few benefits. First of all, its ability to um, handle 
free radicals is better than vitamin C. And by that, I mean its reduction potential is greater than the reduction potential of vitamin C as an antioxidant. So it's better at handling free radicals than vitamin C. Another advantage of melatonin over vitamin C is that it is lipophilic, meaning it loves fatty things. So it can diffuse across the stratum corneum and down in actually into the dermis and within the hair follicle. Whereas vitamin C, ascorbic acid, is water soluble and difficult for it to penetrate the waxy, oily skin barrier. And so that is one of the challenges with vitamin C is formulating it to actually get into the skin to do the, the things that we are hoping from it. Whereas melatonin is lipophilic and does, does penetrate the skin quite readily. Not only does it penetrate the skin re readily, it does so robustly and it results in sustained benefit over the course of the following day. I already mentioned earlier in the video how topical mel uh, melatonin can help reduce UV damage. Well, it boosts up the skin's uh, antioxidative uh, enzymes and that boost lasts like 24 hours. And that's important because when you are exposed to UV, your skin kind of has to handle that well into the night. I've talked about this in other videos before, but there is a circadian rhythm to your skin and at night, um, your skin does do a lot more healing and repair as you sleep. The immune system kind of comes in. So melatonin is vital actually in kind of how that is orchestrated and how a lot of the antioxidant systems go in and help to fight off the damage from throughout the day. So applying melatonin may help in, in dealing with some of that. I'm not a cosmetic chemist, but from the literature that I have read about topical mel melatonin and the studies that I have come across on topical melatonin, overall from a formulation perspective, it seems a lot more easy to work with and to formulate into a product so that it actually gets into the skin and is beneficial. And we do have studies on actual people demonstrating benefit from the use of topical melatonin in terms of reducing the damage from exposure to UV radiation. So topical melatonin, it can enter the stratum corneum and create a reservoir there, as well as the deeper layers of the skin, the dermis, and that is the site of wrinkle formation. You know, when our skin is exposed to UV rays, not only do we get damage to the lipids and the proteins and the DNA and our skin cells, but it uh, upregulates enzymes that actually destroy our collagen. And as we get older, our ability to regenerate um, and repair and heal, it declines. And therefore, having a topical antioxidant like melatonin is an attractive intervention to help in delaying the skin related, the age related changes to the skin that compromise its function. A lot of people view anti-aging as cosmetic when it comes to the skin. In my opinion, approaching skincare with the idea of anti-aging in mind, it's really about preserving function so that as you get into your you know, wiser adult years, you have skin that is healthy and is functioning to protect you from things like pathogens, you know, environmental stressors, you're not as prone to irritation, skin problems, you maintain skin integrity. Um, you know, in wiser, older individuals, the skin, it becomes brittle, thin, and tears easily and doesn't heal well. People just think about the skin and skincare products as promoting, uh, you know, the cosmetic appearance of the skin. But if you think about it from a perspective of preserving function, it totally changes the game in that you're looking to preserve function for as long as possible because guess what? Our lifespan has gotten it has increased. And I've point, pointed this out in videos before, but a lot of my audience is female. And women, we're going to spend a, the majority of our lives post-menopausal because of increases in lifespan. And for that reason, it's really important for you to think proactively about your skin and taking care of it for preserving function as long as possible, because guess what? In all likelihood, you're going to be on this planet for a long time. The last thing you wanna be dealing with is skin barrier breakdown and skin breakdown and tears, poor healing later on in life. So think of it that way. It totally changes the game away from just this cosmetic vanity vanity thing. It's okay to care about the way you look and vanity. It's not all bad, but 
you know, a lot of people gripe that we shouldn't be concerned with anti-aging, but I actually, I argue the opposite. We should. We should be interested in anti-aging from the point of preserving function as long as possible because we're gonna be here a lot longer than originally intended, so to speak, because of advances in science and advances in just how we live our lives. Our, our lifespan has increased. So for that reason, I do think it is important. And with women, given what I said, you know, we are gonna be on this planet longer. After menopause, one thing that happens with our skin is we start losing collagen even more because in women, estrogen plays a major role in collagen synthesis and healing of damaged collagen in the deeper layers of the skin. And with menopause, our estrogen levels decline. And that is a factor that comes in uniquely to how women's skin ages in comparison to men, is that we lose that estrogen. And that's why around menopause, the skin thins quite a bit and there's more visible signs of skin aging. A lot of women experience dry skin. So always be thinking about it from a you know, a proactive perspective, more so than, more so than an aesthetics, you know, vanity viewpoint. But one thing that impacts both adult men and women is hair loss, specifically androgenetic alopecia. I have a ton of videos on this. It is pattern hair loss that is largely determined by your genetics and that your hair follicle is sensitive to the male hormones and it miniaturizes into a baby hair. And that is what leads to pattern hair loss. In women, it's going to be a widening of the central part. And in men, you know, it's gonna start with a receding hairline. So both men and women deal with this. And topically applied melatonin has actually been shown to result in a decrease in hair loss in women with androgenetic alopecia and a maintenance of current hair hair amount in men with androgenetic alopecia. Now it's only one small study, but it is compelling. You know, topically applied melatonin, I mentioned it's lipophilic. It can actually get down into the hair follicle, which is a tricky thing when we're talking about topicals. That's why, you know, a lot of those hair growth serums on the market, I scoff at because there's really not good research on the ingredients that they're claiming for actually penetrating into the follicle. But melatonin, albeit a small amount of research, at least it's you know something that we have good, good kinetic studies showing it actually gets into the skin and into the follicle to reach down there and, and help cu cut down on the, on the rate of hair loss in both men and women. Now, how it's working, we don't actually know. It could be by minimizing oxidative stress to those hair follicle cells. That's the most likely mechanism. But could it be doing something with, you know, the androgen receptor on the hair follicle? Who knows? So more research certainly is needed when we're talking about topical melatonin for hair loss, but it has been shown in at least one small study to yield benefit. And I will also point out in that study, there was not only a benefit in hair loss, but some of the participants in the study had seborrhea, oily scalp, dandruff, it goes under the umbrella of seborrheic dermatitis and that improved with topical melatonin. So perhaps, you know, it creates, you know, maybe it, it does something with the relative amounts of sebum produced uh, because it is a hormone, you know, and oil production is go governed by hormonal signals. Hard to say for sure. I'm merely speculating on mechanisms at this point, but that is all the more reason to be a be interested in topical melatonin for the maintenance of your hair. So that's melatonin, an antioxidant that when applied topically, shows a lot of promise for uh, mitigating the damage that occurs from exposure to a variety of environmental stressors, thus having an anti-aging effect. And we know that melatonin you know, has anti-cancer properties, so it could help reduce the damage to cells that leads to down the road skin cancers, merely speculative at this point, but it's definitely a compelling ingredient for more research. To be clear though, while topical melatonin can potentially reduce the burden of damage to the skin from exposure to ultraviolet radiation, you do still need to protect your skin from the sun by uh, wearing a broad spectrum sunscreen, some protective clothing, not staying out too long, seeking shade, because antioxidants, 
they they kind of will you know do some damage control but you really want to just reduce your overall exposure to uv and that's going to be from sun protection like sunscreen and sun protective behaviors like wearing a hat and whatnot so you still need to do both but the the combination is compelling for having the best outcome one would suppose on reducing the burden of of damage from uv exposure but you know sunscreen it's not going to protect you from from pollution which generates free radicals it's not going to protect you necessarily from visible light some formulas may but it's not something that is standardized in sunscreen manufacturing to assay for so you never really know to what extent your sunscreen is protecting from those wavelengths of light so are there any products out there that have melatonin in them you'll find it in a lot of products out there faded topicals brightening and clearing serum i recently reviewed for you guys it has melatonin in it now bear in mind melatonin it is a cosmeceutical ingredient so products that have it they're not regulated they don't actually have to demonstrate that their product has a good amount of it or that it actually you know is formulated correctly you're just kind of at the mercy of of the, the manufacturer but you may be wondering should we just be taking a melatonin supplement i would i would pause on that uh because a lot of the melatonin supplements on the market, they have very high amounts of melatonin in them. And whether or not that's actually safe to take, especially on a consistent basis, we really don't know. Um, melatonin supplements, they're most useful for people who have sleep rhythm disorders, like swing shift workers, you know, maybe you've come back from a trip and you're jet lagged. They're not meant to be used daily on a long-term basis for most people. Now, of course, there are exceptions to that, but there is also research to suggest that taking high amounts of melatonin is associated with dementia. And so you wanna be careful to just not be taking something unnecessarily. If you are having trouble sleeping, I do suggest, you know, getting your sleep hygiene in check. So check out my video on beauty sleep. I give some tips there. But at the end of the day, when it comes to melatonin supplements, I don't think it's a good idea to just take them because you know the risks are just not well established with taking a melatonin supplement. A lot of the supplements on the market have very high amounts that could potentially have harmful effects to you. And the research that we have shows that applying it to the skin, it does get into the skin quite well. So that's melatonin. You know, it shows a lot of promise for an anti-aging effect in the skin. And by anti-aging, I remember it's about preserving function. It's not just about cosmetics. All right, you guys, let me know in the comments though. Have you heard of melatonin and skincare products? Are you using a product with melatonin in it? Let us know. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.